Yes, yeah, so and welcome. I'm Vasily, and welcome to C31's Subscribe-a-thon. Now, we've got a two-hour, fun-packed, full of entertainment. We've got dancing, music, cooking, and a lot of dares, too. Now, you all know C31 has been broadcasting analog for the, from the birth, from its birth. Now, it's been going on, and we've finally reached to get our digital license. We're transmitting in digital very soon, folks, but that's enough for me. Let's meet the man himself. He loves to hide behind the camera, but it's about time we brought him in front. The man himself, the general manager from C31, <laughs> Mr. Richard McClellan. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm well. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> Please yeah, have a seat. Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly right. That's the other side is where I'd much prefer to be. Thanks. You're very comfortable on that side of the world, aren't yes, you? Yes, but not so much this side. It's lovely. It's brighter. It shines. It's like the sun. Yes, yes. I yeah. leave that up to you. Thank you very much. Now tell us, C31. We know it's been analogue from the day it was born. Yep. We've got a licence from the government. Yep. We're about to transmit in digital very soon. How long okay. before we go digital? About seven to eight weeks. Around about mid-May, I would say. Yes, yeah. all things are uh, going with us, but I think that's uh, a pretty fair estimate. Good. How long? How much do we need, sorry? Oh, well, uh, we need around about 300000 to finish our yeah. upgrade of all our infrastructure, our internal facilities. Okay. Um, the federal government gave us about 600000 uh, that was for the transmission side of things. Mm -hmm. So that money came in in one hand and almost went out in the immediately hand. in the other hand and that went to our transmission okay, uh, partners. So we need to get a lot of support on So we've got a subscriber phone on folks tonight. Get on the phone, ring up, get on, become a subscriber of C31. We need to transmit in digital very soon. Now we're going to go to a, a clip, uh, a digital, what is it, a... a the history of C31 from analog oh, going I over see. to a digital platform. Let's go to the clip. Hi, I'm Paul Culliver from The Inquiry. Today's history lesson is how Channel 31 came to get a digital TV license. Channel 31, or as it's known in Rome, Channel XXXI, first started broadcasting across Melbourne in 1994. The same year the Cranberries became zombies, Australian phone numbers became eight digits long, and John Wood began the most unsuccessful Logie campaign with the debut of a small town Victorian cop show, Blue Healers. In 2001, digital TV began. Unfortunately, Australian law did not contain any reference to the idea of community TV, and so Parliament's digital legislation left Channel 31 behind on analogue. In a similar problem, no Australian politician had sex until 1963, when sex was first codified into law. Nowadays, politicians' candid discussions on the topic make many people regret this progress. Now, finally, in 2002, the law recognised community TV, and in 2004, Channel 31 was granted a community television licence. For 10 years, Channel 31 had been broadcasting as a temporary narrowcaster, or, if you'd like to be incorrect but sassy, pirate television. Negotiations for C31 to go digital began. Now, the broadcast airwaves are a valuable commodity to the federal government, and they wanted to get the best value out of it. So Channel 31 had to convince the bureaucrats that it belonged on TV, not next to cute pandas and Susan Boyle on YouTube. In November 07, the digital campaign encountered a setback when in the great federal parliament game of musical chairs, John Howard lost his seat, the government changed, and Channel 31's negotiations had to start all over again. In November 2009, finally, Channel 31 got the announcement they'd been waiting for. They were going digital. Their success can be attributed to three things. The Fair Go Kev campaign, the debut of my brilliant TV program, The Inquiry, and Channel 31 General Manager Richard McClellan's less publicised snowboarding junket with Communications Minister Stephen Conroy. But to make sure we've got all the right cords, cables, buttons, dials and knobs to give you quality digital television, we need your help and more importantly, your money. Seriously, if we don't sort this, the debt collectors are going for Vasily's garden first. So give generously, because I like vegetables, and love Channel 31. I love it too, folks. So get on the phone and ring up and subscribe now to C31. We've got two hours of fun-packed show for you, full of entertainment. We've got music, we've got cooking, we've got some tricks coming up also. We've even got a dare, a few dares coming up. Now we're going to go over to Jess, Jess, my apologies, at C31 Phone Rooms to see how she's going. Let's go to Jess. Hey, thanks, Vasily. Now, this is the, biz, uh, the business end of the show. This is where we want you to call up and give us your money. We're unashamed about that. We need your cash. We've got all the people that make Channel 31, 31. We've got hosts. We've got people from the sales team. They're all here on the phones waiting to chat to you. So call up. You can be a gold subscriber, a silver subscriber or bronze. 
I think this is the first time you can be a winner. Go for gold. Don't settle for bronze. We're also going to put your name in this barrel, spin it, and we're going to be drawing prizes throughout the show. You can win DVDs. We've got vouchers to restaurants. We've also got the return of Fish Cam over here. And we've also got a couple of guys, Stefan and Craig. They're going to be doing dares throughout the show. So if we get five subscribers in the next couple of minutes, Stefan's going to wax his bum. But we're going to cap back to you, Vasily, where you've got the guys from Adventure Bound down there with you. We'll see. Guys, we've got the guys from Adventure Bound. Andrew, is it? It is Andrew. Pleasure. And Lee? Yes. Welcome. Thank Welcome you. to C31 Subscribathon. Tell us about your show. How's it going? Uh, it's going very well, mate. Yeah. Very well, yeah. 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 Where have we been lately? Last week, Port Stephens, yeah. up on the mid north coast of New South Wales, wow. chasing marlins. So marlins. Are they digital too? At the moment, or the marlin aren't digital at the no. moment. But look, if we get some money, we will go digital with the marlin. We need to go digital, and we can almost get them in 3D too. So Just about, yeah. And it would be lovely, lovely to watch your show in, in, in widescreen because some of those large. Be awesome. What's the biggest fish you've actually caught? What would be the biggest fish? Oh, I don't know. You don't um, know? A couple big. of hundred pound. They all look big on telly when you watch well, them. Well, lengthways. Oh. 10 foot. 10 oh. foot? Yeah. 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 That's... 3 metres. Okay, that's better. Now, that's metric is 3 metres. What yeah. would that be? What sort of fish is that? Just a marlin, which a marlin. is what's on next week's show. Next week's show. You've got a We've got several. Yeah. 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 We've got some highlights of that. So let's go to the highlights and see what's coming up for the next week's show. No worries. There goes the rigger. What's going on here? What's going on here? There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Give us that big jump. Yeah! This thing's probably 70 kilos. You can only imagine them when they're 450, 500, those giant blacks. Just awesome beasts. I'm going to get back on this fish now. Now he's un unhappy. Now this is where it's going to be a bit interesting, guys. All right, let's see if I can get this leader. Now we're tracing fish. You don't have to go mental either. I'm just going to back that drag right off. It's just about edging that fish up nice and easy. Don't make him upset. All righty, you beautiful thing. Too good. Look at that circle hook right in the corner of the jaw. It's such an effective fishing weapon, whether it be for whiting, which you've seen us using circles for on the show, or marlin like this, and bigger. There we go, you good thing. Hooks out. Dorsal's still up, that's a really, really good sign. I'm just gonna upright it. We just got the boat in gear, good water flow. See how that tail's kicking out the back there? She is happy. I'm happier. All right, you beautiful girl. You go and terrorise some more bait fish. Without doubt, my favourite fish in the world. Hey, mate. That is some serious fishing there. Congratulations. You caught that. Congratulations. Now, we can see that in digital. You folks at home will be seeing it in digital too. It's amazing. So get behind there. Ring up. Subscribe now. 9660 3131. The boys are going up to the phone room saying they'll take your calls too. Yep. Up there with Jess. So let's go to Jess now. See how she's going. Ask me a second about it. <laughs> okay, great. Here we are. We're in the phone room. We've got Dragon. You're on the line. You've got a caller? No, I'm, just, I'm just between calls, but um, I just got my first donation from Norm. He's donated $75 from Frankston North, and he just loves the Silly's Garden, all the, the four-wheel driving shows, fishing shows. Yeah, real caller. This is awesome. <laughs> the phones are actually plugged in. I don't know. We, we had a backup. Just now, we've got 
Craig and Stefan here, they've volunteered their services to do some dares to help as a bit of an incentive to get people to call. I said if we got five subscribers, you were going to have to wax your ass. Now, yeah. we actually met half of that target. So well, I'll do, I'll, I'll volunteer do. half of my bottom right. to be waxed. Uh, pigs, I just want to show off Craig's pigs here. Look at that. Sporting, that's, that's amazing. Sporting the, uh, the old lycra. Um, <laughs> Mum, if you're watching, this is what you gave birth to. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I'll take this. Now, where are we going, Craig? We that's uh, a and I thought we'd get none, no one better to wax me than Rob Lloyd. So Rob, Rob Lloyd, Lloyd, Newton Way. <laughs> now you're an expert at this, Rob, so... I am. I am. Uh, yep. How high can we go into the bottom area? That's, I think, that's enough bottom, Yeah, that's it? enough yeah. bottom. Right. Right. Oh, this oh, is... Oh, that's oh, did you warm up? Did you warm up? I have been rubbing it up against myself All right. Right. for so long. Uh, this is actually going to scare subscribers away. Please still call. Okay. I mean, oh, I'll get some sound effects. Okay. 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 I think we'll get... Yeah. There's some just, lovely hair just here. Just plant it. Just plant oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look at the oh. look at the wobble. Oh, it's a staunch bit of ham. Now, it's a lovely bit of pork. For those of you at home, this will be a lot better digital. <laughs> All right. I should, I should flex. <laughs> Just flex. Oh, look at that. Ripple there. Okay, ready? Oh. Okay, now it's slow, oh. isn't it? The no, it's slow. fast! It's slow. fast, slow. Fast, it's slow. Definitely fast. Slow. Okay, wait, wait. Two, one. Two, one, two, three. three. Oh. oh, there's still some left. Oh. Oh. That's my bottom. Okay, that that's was my your bottom. Achy <laughs> bits. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> if you want to see more of this, get on the phone, ring up, subscribe. Oh, We're going to go to a break. Oh, this is your chance to call, call, call. It's we a want your cash. Bit of skin <laughs> on the more of you. How are you? Oh, that's... <laughs> I'm I party here with Party Pooch. Uber Duver Telethon, Telethon, live. Coming at you, 9660-3131. It's time for Palm. D is for Dolphin. I is for iguana, G is for giraffe, I is for iguana, T is for turtle, A is for ant, L is for lemming, digital. Thank you. Very much. Hi, Jared and Shula here from Class TV, and James, who's not really supposed to be in the shot. But thanks to Kev, you're going to be able to see all three of us in digital. So we made him the shirt. Unfortunately, Jared, we don't have enough money. Or his address to give him the shirt. So we're asking you, Class TV viewers, to subscribe. Look at the details at the bottom of the page. I then am whizzing but through. I'm holding the shirt. What an aggressive shade of orange. <laughs> Welcome back to C31 Subscriber Thon, and with me now, our lovely guest is Caterina from Regional Italian Cuisine. How are you, my dear? Buonasera, buonasera. Nice to meet you. And Michele? How, How are, are you? you? Pleasure nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Likewise. How's the show going, my dear? Oh, we've had seven years of just fun, 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 met great people, yes. and hopefully getting out the word out there about food. Yes, you are, and lots of good eating too. Now, you're here tonight, and you're going to do some dishes for us. What are you cooking for us We're today? We're keeping it simple, of yes. course, but we thought we'd work with things that are seasonal in Melbourne at the moment. Now, look at that. I Prickly love that. pears. Oh, yeah. They're not okay. Greek prickles. No, they're not Greek? Italian. Yeah, because no, they're small prickles. <laughs> Go on. Okay, some beautiful figs, and then we've got... Some chestnuts, chestnuts and some stale well, bread. Well, we're going to do all this. Beautiful. You're going to prepare a nice dish. We're going to go back to Jess in the control rooms. Let's call them the phone rooms. See how she's going. Over to you, Jess. Okay, welcome back. It's all very exciting. People are calling up. My mum actually just subscribed, so thanks, mum. We're going to check in on our subscriber tally. It's at 224 subscribers. That's awesome, guys. We have had an X31 uh, personality call up. He's going to subscribe, so we're going to go around and have a chat. We've got Hamish Blake on the line. Now, his career started on Channel 31. Hames, are you there? Good evening, Jessica Harris. Good evening, Australia. How are you, mate? We're all very good. Very excited that you've called up to give your support. Well, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm on the edge. Convince me. Okay. No, no, I, I will subscribe. Of course, <laughs> I'll subscribe. <laughs> now, do you reckon you would have gotten to where you are if it wasn't for Channel 31? No, not at all. We're, in fact, we're still working with exactly the same people yeah. um, <laughs> that we use at Channel 31. We yeah. keep trying to make, pay them the same, which is nothing. Yeah. But uh, nobody yeah. goes for that anymore these days. But it still is the most fun we've ever had uh, yeah. on TV. And, and, and it is, it's an amazing part of the TV landscape. 
Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, I rehearsed that. I was going to go with it was an emotional ride and I'll always be indebted to 31, but I thought maybe I'd talk more about the amazing side of things. So I'm glad it went across well. Oh, well, thanks so much for calling Ames and subscribing. Everyone will well, follow in your footsteps. It, it, I should point out that right. uh, if the people from Guns and Ammo magazine are watching, you've lost me for my subscription. The money has to come from somewhere. And I do think Channel 31 is a better option. Okay, no worries. Thanks, mate. Have a good night. Thanks, Jesse. I hope everyone subscribes. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Bye, mate. All right. We're going to uh, go back to Vasily. I think he's doing a bit of cooking down in the studio. Welcome back, folks. Did you need this? <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What are we doing here? The Greeks always trying to undermine the Italians. Okay. Always. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to actually show mm -hmm. the people at home how to actually peel a prickly pear. Prickly pear. Okay. So we're going to peel a prickly pear. You need a Beautiful. knife. A fork. A fork. Okay. Yep. So we're peeling the pears. Is this going as part of a dish? Yes, it is. It's going to be a very simple salad. Now, prickly pears, of course, are really big in the Mediterranean, yes, of course. Are. And how we're using them at the restaurant is we're actually putting them into a salad with beautiful Sicilian capers, which yes. are just to die for. These are just not normal capers. Mm, okay, they're Sicilian. They're Sicilian. So they're half Greek. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And um, we've got some shallots because yes. that's a bit of sweetness. Okay. And of course, we need some lemon because okay. prickly pears, as such, uh, do come from the cactus family. Yes. Uh, and they are sweet, but they don't have great acid. You Thank would you know for that, the knowledge. Don't you? Thank you very you much. Like I've learned something tonight. Folks, about prickly pears. In my books, I'm about to there eat that. Yeah. Okay, okay, so we put that in the dish. Yes. Okay, absolutely. with a little bit of lemon capers. What was this again? Shallots. Shallots. Okay, so we've got some shallots. The, fr the French are in there as well, as you can Beautiful. see. Beautiful. All right, so and you're getting that already. Now, you've also made a donation, haven't you? Absolutely. What a good girl you are. You must donate 9660 3131. That's right. Subscribe now to C31 9660 3131. Get on board and help us go on to digital because we need that extra little bit of funding to make the transition a lot smoother. Now, Cheers, this is it. almost ready, isn't it? For the olio. I am hungry. You realise that I've been yeah. here all day. They haven't fed me anything the here. The best <laughs> olive oil. Do you, know anything, don't eat. do you know anything about olive oil? Nothing at all. You can teach me whatever you, you can say, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so olive oil, what's mm. that? What was that you That's put That's white balsamic. Mm. Because we're a bit over the dark one. You know, we yeah, need okay. Because okay. otherwise this going on. Yeah, Fantastic. See, there we go. Look, right. here we go. And this is lovely. It's refreshing. You can have it with fish. I'm ready. You ready? See, the guys just left now, Adventure Bound. If I knew you were going to do this with fish, I should have got the guys to bring some fish in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look, look at the colours in that. It's fantastic. That is gorgeous. Like very That's spot. wonderful. Look at that. Yummy. Yeah. Can go I on, taste it? Go. Nah. Yeah. I'm going to leave this for the audience. Yeah. <laughs> but we should be going back to uh, Jess in the control room there. I believe they've got the $200 voucher from Caterina. And what's the Cochina name of the restaurant? Eba. And where is that? 221 Queen Street in Melbourne. Fantastic. You've, you've donated a $200 lunch voucher. Mm -hmm as a prize to the subscribers. So anybody who's been subscribing up till now, it's going to go in the drawer and they're going to win it. Yes, and what a great prize too. You get to meet me. Yeah, <laughs> why? and I'll be there too, believe you me, enjoying Absolutely. myself with a good feed like this. Yeah. Now I'm going to taste this and I have to take it over to the crowd. There are now. no prickles. There's no prickles? Uh, are you sure there's no prickles? No, no, no. <laughs> so all the Italians we'll are gone, folks. All the Italians the are gone. <laughs> Let's go to Jess <laughs> to draw the prize. $200 uh, lunch at Caterina's restaurant. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay, thanks for silly. That looks so very delicious down there. But up here we've got our first barrel roll, our first prize draw. Everyone that rings up and subscribes gets their name put in the barrel and they go in the chance to win prizes. So this is first first round, boys. Are we yeah, gonna the barrel out? I've always yeah. wanted to do this actually. Do you want to have a go? Have a, no, have, have a rummage. Have right? a rummage. rummage. What have we got? Rummage, Greg, get yep. in there. You got one? Yep. Okay. What, who so is it? Kathleen Holland. Kathleen Holland, congratulations. You have won a bread basket from the Golden Food Kitchen. Yes. <laughs> and the yeah. of their breads will be delivered straight to your door. Great. Yeah. Next. You go, Stephanie. I'll go. You go. Okay. Um. Your address. Uh, very exciting. Yeah. If you want to get your name in, Ooh. ring up. Who have we got? We've got Valerie Ray. Congratulations, Valerie. You have won a $200 lunch voucher for Katrina's Cucina Bar, fine Italian cuisine, <laughs> located in the CBD. I practiced that about five times and I stopped after that. If she needs a date, if she needs a date, we're available. You guys are ready? So, um, Who else have we got? Okay. Okay. You want the name in the barrel? Call up. Janet Green. We have Janet, Janet, Janet Green. Congratulations, you've won a dinner for two and a bottle of wine at Valentino's okay, Cafe Restaurant. Right. We've got another one of these to give away. No, you do it. No? You yeah. go it has been my dream to be a barrel girl. Yeah. A dive. Yeah, to the bottom. Deep I, to you're the my bottom. assistants. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so well, once again, come up if for you want to get your name in this barrel, yeah. ring up, Here subscribe. We go. Here we go. We've got um, Wowie Wowie Wiki Park has won a dinner for two again and a bottle of wine at Valentino's Cafe Restaurant. That is a very good prize. We have to thank our um, prize givers for generously yep. donating yes, these prizes. Yes, yes. And do, is that it? That's it for the prizes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all done. Yeah. Now, remember, these guys are doing dares throughout the show. And uh, the next one looks pretty disgusting. So, if we, what's our target? What do you reckon? How well, many? I reckon if we can get this, at least ten. At, at least, least ten. ten. It's going to... It's going to involve and drinking a meal okay. and it's going to be disgusting. Uh, and possibly <laughs> vomiting possibly it up. Vomiting. There'll be no vomit, I okay. promise. There'll be no vomit. <laughs> right. But if we get another 10 subscribers in the, what, next, in the next five minutes... Five minutes? Yes, okay. I will go through hell for you. All right, so that's uh, all That's all very interesting. So call up. We actually... We've got calls coming in. The, the phones are running hot. So maybe we'll go down and ask... What, Kirk, this is our... You're from our sales team in Channel 31, that's correct? Programming team, very Programming. close, very yeah. close. Well, how many calls have you had? I've had 10 so far, yeah. yes. So great. Great. Yeah. Break, so, yeah. Well, if we get 10 more, these guys are going to do a dare. We'll yeah. see you guys soon. Back to you, Vasily. We're back on, folks. Now, we've got the beautiful dish here from Katerina that she's prepared. We've got a lovely audience member here. Your name? Dominic. Pleasure to meet you, Dominic. Pleasure you enjoying you, yourself? Absolutely, Vasily. That's the good stuff now. Do you want to take some of can this you, stuff? Can you do like the aeroplane for me, Vasily? Yeah, I could do the aeroplane for do you, you mate. No, I plate. can hold the mic. Look at my talent, like that. Do you want to hold the plate? No, no, let me feed it to you. Now, open wide. Ah, choo choo. Ah, here we got it in. Now, you, meet, you need some capers. What? Come on, more, 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 more capers. More capers. <laughs> good boy. One more. Oh, come on, baby. You love it, don't you? You love it. Come on, you can eat it. Could you imagine if you could see this in, in digital widescreen, surround sound? More and more, baby. Come here. Come on. Oh, you got to... Number one. Katerinas. Oh, yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop now. Come on, you're on a roll here, sweetheart. <laughs> He's coping. You're coping. Are you Greek by any chance? Because you've you got no idea how to eat. <laughs> You're a dribbler too. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. It's fantastic. Now, we've got great entertainment coming to you after the break, so sit back. Actually, we're going to Jess at the moment. Back to the phone rooms. How are we going, Jess? Okay, now we're going to have a bit of a tour of the Channel Wire 31 studios just to show you guys what you're going to be helping out. So come down here, we're going to go have a look at the press room. We've got Rowan down here. He's the guy that pushes all the buttons. So what we're renovating at the moment, we're going to need more money, more subscriptions to help finish all of this off. But we'll go in here and have a look. Rowan, what's going on in here? Hey, I'm just getting a subscriber. You're subscri it was pretty R-rated, but I, uh, I am subscribing myself. Yeah. So, yeah, give generously, because 31 needs the money, Jess. That's so, well done, well no, said. So what goes on in here? Um, this is our old technology that we need to upgrade. Okay. Uh, this is the press computer. It runs all the brakes. Yep. Basically how it works is we have to play Madonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically. So you're going <laughs> to And if we... Oh, is that really what you do? That is how we go to break. I'm so okay. sick of this song. So well, if let's you... Let's go to break then. Yeah. Let's get out. <laughs> Keep moving. We're going to go have a look at the new studio, which has been renovated. But I must stress again, it's half renovated. We got half the money. We need more. So keep calling. But it looks good. Look at this. Nice and shiny. There's so much space. I think the old studio was about a quarter of that. So uh, we just need the equipment now to go in here. That's where you guys come in. So keep calling. Everyone's calling. It's actually going really well. So we'll finish the tour. We'll go in to the kitchen. Now, a couple of guys that are very popular on Channel 31 are the guys from The Shambles. They were in the kitchen here the other day. They've got a bit of a pre-recorded package for us. So we're going to have a look at that now. <laughs> So many memories in this building. So many memories. So many good times. So many good times. Remember that time we invented the bionic ear? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the time we got trapped in a tunnel and then Sylvester Stallone had to come save us? <laughs> Remember that time we released our Indian pop single and we all were really tired pants? Hey man, let's do some music together and rock it. I don't think I don't think that was us, but it was a pretty swell clip, don't you think so? Sure was, Sean. I don't think you can lie on a telephone. I'm pretty sure the lowest form of human being are the ones that lie on telephones. <laughs> People that lie on telephones and 
politician. <laughs> You know, there's a lot more comedy that could come your way if you subscribe to Channel 31 Subscriber by the Barbathon. All because it helps young people work with old people doing in a television. Not creepy way. Yeah, mm. television. Togetherness, subscriber night. Mm. Shut up, Sean. <laughs> so, what we're really asking you to do today is to switch on to digital. Because if you don't, digital's going to switch on to you. That's good. Anyway, so Channel 31 asked us to choose a highlight, and we don't have any. So instead, here's just a random clip from our crappy show. Good morning, uh, neighbour, who is Lucifer. Uh, look, this afternoon we're having the, uh, the, uh, the bake, bake for, for Benedict, Benedict. Uh, yeah, cake sale, and uh, we have our own stall, and we're just wondering if we could uh, borrow maybe just a little bit of caster sugar, maybe just a cup or two. You lucky day, look what I've got. You want caster sugar? I'll give you caster sugar. Boo! Get off me lawn! Boo! Get off! Hey, that was the tour. Now from this kitchen back down to you, Vasilia. I think he's still doing some cooking. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. We're here, back here at the studios of RMIT. Keep those phones ringing. Subscribe now. Nine, what is the number again? Nine double six zero. Nine double six zero. Three one. Three one. Three one. Now have a look at these Greek slugs. Yeah. Right? Kalamata, no. they call them. Yeah, you're cheating. No, you're Italian. No, they're not. Italians have got no Tender idea about size. Carriage, like yeah, <laughs> micro millimeters is how you measure. <laughs> look, okay, look, what look, are we look, doing now? Look. We've got the classical thing that's happening at the moment with figs, and we're going to fill them with gorgonzola. That lovely smelly cheese oh, that no. we love. No, that's Italian. Absolutely. Yeah. And of course, oh, <laughs> the smelly bit. <laughs> <laughs> and speck, you can use prosciutto. You'll see this on menus. It's lovely and fresh I'll and light. This, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing. So that's something to do quickly for the summer. We're doing a panzanella salad, which is bread. Mm -hmm. It's a Tuscan bread salad. So mm -hmm. it's bread soaked with vinegar. You've got onions, you've got tomato, you've got those supposed slugs. Uh, in there, uh, there we go. Big giant um, that looks you can... like a Greek salad too, you know. Absolutely, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no. 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 But most importantly, no, hold that. <laughs> What's that? Oh, oh, now, give me the fresh stuff out, quick. The fresh stuff. I'm going to just tell oh, you what this is. This is not even going to make it over the chestnuts. Already clean for me. You know yeah, what that yeah. is? Yeah. Now put them in the glass. Put them in the glass. All right, put them in the glass, <laughs> folks. We've got great entertainment coming up, so stay tuned. We're going to a break. We'll be back with lots more. Glass of wine. Right, this, is, this, is, this is how the Italians do it. Chestnuts. <laughs> That's my favourite number too. 9660-3131. Call now and donate now. Now to spot the difference. See if you can spot the difference. It'll be a fun game. Spot the difference. Call now. Spot the difference first and then call. Now. TV show Classic Restos. I encourage you to dig as deep as you can and try and help C31 reach their goal to bring us into the digital spectrum. The allocated one-off government grant is simply not enough and to ensure the future of this fantastic community television network it does need your help. If you like Classic Restos you can thank Channel 31 because after my 17 year journey of making it into television it was C31 and the network that believed in me and many others in the production business as well. So why not subscribe to the station and help us switch on digital. I'm Fletch, thanks for watching. <laughs> Welcome back to C31 Subscribathon. We have got a lovely couple here from Fusion Lantina, Francisco and Christina. Welcome, how are you? Thank you, great. Thank you for That's having great. us. Thank you for coming down. Now we're going to go straight to Jess at the phone room to see how she's going. We'll come back and talk with you just in a minute. Thank you, Jess. Okay, now we have the guys here from Adventure Bound. We've got Andrew and Lee. Now, do you guys want to give any of the viewers at home a bit more uh, of an incentive as to why they should call in? Like, what does 31 mean to you? Like, what's it made possible for you? Well, I think what 31's made possible, not only for us, yep. but viewers of fishing shows in general, is that it's allowed them to get primetime fishing shows on during the week, so yep. over dinner time. Yep. And if we go digital, we'll be able to have primetime fishing shows and outdoor shows yep. going uh, into people's living rooms every week yep. at primetime. Yeah, so, so it's, it's all about 
created yeah. original content, you know, and you've worked in commercial television yeah. quite a bit. I have. And what's, what do you find the difference? Um, because our running costs aren't as high, you get to actually make it more about the product, which yeah. in our case is the fish and the location, and, and you really get to do yeah. the fish justice and, and the whole situation justice rather than... I suppose doing advertorial content yeah. all the time. Well, we've got fish cam back. Have you seen that? We've That's got the fish awesome. cam over there. I want to catch them. Great. <laughs> we've got prizes coming up. We've got dares coming up. So get on the phone. Ring up. You might be able to chat to these guys. Can some of the subscribers talk to you? Yes. They of call up. Great. Get on the phone. Give us a call. Back to you, Vasily. Cheers. Thank you, Jess, and welcome back here at RMIT. Now the lovely couple from Fusion Lentina. How are we going? Are we well? We're fantastic. Very yes. excited to be here. That's yeah, it's great, great to be here. It is, digital, it is subscribed yeah. now, so phone up 9660-3131. Now tell us about your show, how's it going? Oh, well, we've actually just wrapped up our last season mm -hmm. and it was amazing. Yeah. Um, we just really, um, we wanted to make it that this season to be a lot about um, just showing Melbourne and how good the Latin American culture is I love in that. Melbourne. Oh, and yeah. really getting involved, oh, yeah. and I think we did it awesome. So, <laughs> well, you know, Coburg is known for Italians and Greeks, so, you know, Reservoir for different cultures and, and so on and so on. Where's the Latin? Our community well, based. We do have Johnson Street, which is sort of a celebration of like restaurants, yep. bars, and, and food. Fantastic. So that's probably the place. Okay, to go. well, look, let's look at some highlights from a Fusion Latina, and we'll come back to you shortly. Exploring the heart of Spain and Latin America, this is Fusion Latina. <laughs> Spanish lyrical content. This chick is a sick individual. We came here to the John Curtin Hotel in Carlton to chat to Melbourne's Soul Nation about how they fuse funk, reggae and East Timorese folk music with Cuban salsa and Brazilian samba. <laughs> Carlos Hernandez, Melbourne Victor midfielder and player for the Costa Rica national team, joins us to discuss his love for the world game. And what advice do you have for any children out there or anyone else whose passion is football? Que nunca bajen los brazos y y que siempre este sean constantes y y mejor en día. For the first time ever in Australia, we are lucky enough to host the biggest Cuban music and dance festival in the world, Cuba Mamucho, at the Forum Theatre. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of Greek style with Latina. Thank you for coming in. It was a pleasure to meet you both. Lovely. All the best with Thank the show. Thank you very much. Enjoy yourselves. Now we're going back to you, Jess. How are we going in the phone rooms? Okay, we're going to go around and have a bit of a chat to some of the people who are actually taking the calls. They're, uh, they're the ones making it happen, really. Persuading people into giving us their money. And we've got Margot, you're from the show The Garden Tap. That's right, lots of gardening. Yes, gardening. love it all. Great, and, and who's been calling you tonight? Well, strangely enough, talking about fishing, I've just had Elliot from Richmond, yeah. and he's subscribed $75. Right. Yeah, and do you know what? Elliot's a diehard fisherman. He goes fishing every Saturday morning. Okay. Then he comes back and watches not one, but two fishing shows oh while he's eating the fish. Oh, that seems a bit kind of sick. You know, he's really into the fish, oh, and then he's just eating. All into it. something. I love my gardening. Elliot loves his fishing. Exactly, and that's what yeah. 31's all about. People, People want getting their passions out there. Just don't eat these fish. This is our fish cam. They've come back. 
Gorgeous. Now we're going to come around and talk to you. Who have you, Kirk, who has been calling you? Well, I had a story. Uh, a dad and his son, Matt, was yeah. in the dad. He and his son play soccer every morning and then they come back and watch the Green Gully Soccer Show. Oh my God, I love I it. Know. Keep it calling, good. guys. <laughs> back to you, Vasily. It's all happening here. Thank you, Jess. Now, coming up after the break, we've got a great prize draw, so don't go anywhere. C31 Subscribathon. Give us a call. Get yourself to bed. You know what I love, Fletch? Money. You're not wrong there, mate. You know what else I like? Handball competitions. Aussie handball competitions, but here's a spin. Euro handball. Here's the deal. 1,000 bucks going to C31. Every time you get a Cracker Jack run the hay diddle diddle. <laughs> I asked for a, a, a regulation size European handball, and this is what I get. This is size five. This is field soccer bow. G'day C31 viewers, it's Ado here from Blokes World. And guess what? C31 is going digital. That's right. How awesome is that? But first, they need your support. Become a C31 subscriber today and you'll get sent out a bunch of newsletters, some bumper stickers. You'll be in the draw to win some awesome prizes, including this. We're chucking in from our sponsors, Strong Australia, an awesome HD set-top box recorder so you can record all your favourite shows when C31 goes digital, including our brand new two series, Blokes World in Hawaii and Blokes World in Bali, both filmed in HD. Here's a clip right now from Blokes World in Bali. See you soon, viewers. Hi, Blokes World. Welcome to Bali. Ose, 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 ose. Thank you. That was the guys from Blokes World. We've got another couple of blokes here. You guys oh. have been doing dares to help, you know, bo boost mm -hmm. morale of the subscribers, get them calling up. Mm -hmm. What's your next dare? Okay, this one was actually emailed to us, and mm -hmm. it's my personal favourite. Um, I'm a bit terrified, though. Yeah. What we're going to do is we've taken a... Um, a, a hamburger fast, meal? Yeah, fast food meal, and we're going to... Uh, Put it in a blender. And, and yeah, and one of us it. is going to drink it. Rob that Lloyd sounds... has got the meal. He's actually got the meal. And we've here. added a few little little tasty Ex extras, extras here too. There. You can see right. there we've got the, yeah. the Snickers Yum. bar, part of any stable diet. <laughs> Chips, hamburger, drink. There's cheese. It's healthy. All Look, right. I don't know why <laughs> people would want to see this. We're going to check. We've got 248 subscribers so far. That's awesome. So if you want if you want to see them do this, I don't know why, call up. <laughs> we'll and if we, get, <laughs> if we get 10 more subscriptions in the next break, that's what they're going to do. Right now, we've got some prizes to draw out. Mm -hmm. So right, get back to your break. regular job of just helping. Sorry, Jess. We've got two Blokes World DVDs to give to our lucky winners. What have we got? Can you drum roll for me? Okay. I've got one hand, so... If you want to win DVDs, call up, subscribe. And there we go, Alan Treffel. Congratulations. Who else? We've got another, another DVD. One. Bending over nice there. What have we got? Andrew Scullin, congratulations. You've won yourself a Blokes World DVD. We've got plenty more prizes coming up. We've got the dare. Call up, talk to our lovely host. Back to you, Vasily. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. Back here at RMIT. Now, we have got Graham from News Geelong with us this evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well indeed, Vasily. Thank you for having us up from our great city of Geelong, the capital of Victoria, because Melbourne is the north northern suburb of Geelong. 
After COVID, that is. <laughs> <laughs> how's Geelong going, mate? Tell us all about Geelong and how C31 is really um, working for the community down there. Geelong is cooking with gas. It's growing as a great community uh, right throughout its uh, breadth and width. And uh, News Geelong is a new program that we've started off this year on Channel 31. It is the first time ever that a, a news service has ever been delivered out of the city of Geelong twice weekly on Channel 31, 6.30 Wednesday nights, 6.30 Friday nights, well, that's and a great we're effort. very, very proud of it. That's a great effort. Put your hands together for them. And we have to go digital now. We are looking forward to digital in May 2010. We have a great number of viewers down in Geelong, and we are saying to our Geelong people, they keep asking, when are we going digital? We're going digital May 21, MG31, News Geelong, the Geelong Cricket Show, the Geelong Football Show. <laughs> it's all happening oh, from our fantastic. great city in Geelong. G W L and G. Go the Cats. <laughs> we had a win on Friday night, so dig deep. You're great with your money when we win. So 9660-3131. Thanks very much, Mr. Fantastic. Sally. Thank you for coming in, Graham. Put your hands together for Graham. And now we're going back to Jess for the... We've got the... the song. Catchphrase for the Scribes Group in Geelong. After a much needed upgrade, the Belmont Library reopened. The Construction for the project is set to commence mid 2010. We are down at Skilled Stadium tonight where Government Minister Jacinta Allen and Premier John Brumby unveiled during the week the new standard. Only one of eight lucky students to have been selected and I hit the lanes to see him in action. Jake Burke at the arena before the boys left to Bendigo. News Geelong. There you have it, the wrap up of the 2010 Geelong APCO Easy Shops Pacing Cup. Digital TV is coming uh, in a couple of months. Uh, got an audience of uh, four million people. What more do you need to say? Wonderful work, mate. Great effort. Keep Thanks. up the good work. We will. Don't forget, 8:30 this Saturday morning, the Geelong and <laughs> District Football League show. The Fat Man returns to Channel 31. That's right, folks. Don't you forget it. Now let's go back to Jez at the 31 phone room for the second day of the night. Okay, well, I'm just going to remind everyone what's happening here. We did say that if we got another 10 subscribers in the next break, that these guys were going to oh, blend up a meal. Like, this was a hamburger, chips, biscuits, a Coke. Mm. And unfortunately for you guys, we, we met the target. So, which <laughs> one of you... We're going to paper, scissors, rock. Yeah. Right, so you're ready. That makes right, me sick. Paper, scissors, rock. Ah! Yes! You suck. Here we go. Okay. Uh, if this anyone is else... live television. This is happening. This is. Oh, oh. that's a bit of meat. Oh. That's. I love that we're going classy with the wine glass, oh, yeah. though. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah. Let's drink a meal, let's... but do it in a wine glass. Beverage of King. <laughs> this is for uh... you guys. Thank you oh. for subscribing. Yeah, this is what. This is what my stomach must smell Stop like stalling. on Saturday night. Stop Here stalling. Here we go. And chug, 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 chug. Go, go down it. Oh down it. You God. can do it. You can do it for Australia, Craig. For Australia, hold it in, hold it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is fine. how desperate we are for your love, attention, money. We will so do true. anything. Let's just hope he doesn't throw up on the oh, new studios. Right. I know, it's tough. <laughs> We're going to be having one more dare right. from these guys later on, but we have got more prizes. But right now, I think we're going to cut down to facility for a live performance from Red Ink. 
Uh, we're back here, folks, down at RMIT. It's going crazy. We're turning into digital people ourselves. Now, we've got a great performance coming up next. This is Red Ink, and we've, with me here, I've got John. How are you going, Vasily? I'm doing very well, and yourself? Good to meet you, mate. Yeah, very How's well. Now, what are you performing for us now? Uh, our, our next single called Battle Scars. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it should be a bit of fun. Loud? Yeah, but it's only two and a half minutes, so they okay. can put up with it. <laughs> Good effort, mate. Now, you guys have been together for how long? Oh, years. Years? Yeah. You lost count, have you? Yeah, well, yeah. since school, so okay. too long. You don't need an accordionist? A who? An accordionist? Oh, well, you never know. We, we'll call you, though. <laughs> okay, mate. I won't give you my all number. All right, all right. Let's see how good you are. Maybe I won't, won't, don't want to join your band, mate. You never know, mate. <laughs> we're, we're idiots. Give it a anyway. go. Give it a go. Let's go. Thanks Put so your hands together for Red Ink. Amazing, mate. Mate, I couldn't join your band. Couldn't keep up with the yeah. energy you guys have got going here, mate. Fantastic. So yeah. where are you gigging? Uh, all around the place. Our single uh, is released at Revolver on the 17th of this month. Fantastic, yeah. And then okay. we tour around, so. Yeah, so you're tour touring around the whole of Australia? Yeah, uh, except yeah. for Perth. We're too poor to go there. Okay, well, you've got a website people can log on to? Yeah, I'll just jump on MySpace, Twitter, Facebook. Very we're called Red Ink, so. Yeah, put your hands together for Red Ink. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up after the break. Song. It's a martial arts fiesta coming at you. We've got Cynthia here from the martial arts school. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for quite a while now, about 10 years, unless you count my junior No, we won't be being a man. I could still beat you good. The number again, 9660-3131. And... Show produces four programs containing news, current affairs, and other important information for the Sri Lankan community. And as part of Channel 31 switching to digital broadcasting, we need your support. So please visit our website or contact us on 9660-3131 in order to subscribe. <laughs> Welcome back 
to C31. Welcome back to C31 Subscribe-a-thon. Make sure those phones are ringing out there because we need your support. Subscribe now to C31 so we can do the transition to digital more efficiently, quicker, so everybody across Victoria can see us. And believe you me, we'll be across Australia too. Now we're going to go back to Jess at the phone rooms and see how she's going. Over to you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. Okay, thanks, Vasily. Now we've got our prize draw happening here. We've got our lovely guest, Francisco and Christina from Fusion Latina. You've been doing some moves down there? Yeah, we tried. <laughs> Did you? We just tried. <laughs> yes. Vasily was holding us back. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, he's jealous. Well, we're going to uh, draw some more prizes. Our first thing is we've got a, a set of five DVDs, all martial artsy. They'll be sent out. So we've got the barrel here. Are you going to do the honours? Go and for it, a Franny. Name for me? All right, and the first winner is... First winner ba, ba, ba. is... Sue Klein. Oh, oh, yeah, I was just checking if we've got the right prize for Sue Klein. Sue Klein. Great. One more? Yeah, go for it. We've got five of these to give away. <laughs> Ian Hattam. Yay. Woo! DVDs coming your way. <laughs> You're very good at this, guys. <laughs> Keep it up. Dale Hart. Woo! Woo! <laughs> and one more of these DVDs. <laughs> Think that Stephen and your surname Steve, has been cut Steve, no last off. name. Woo! Okay. <laughs> right, next round we have our Frank Callahan CDs. Who wants these? Call up, subscribe, get your name in that barrel. Let's do it again. Do it again. I love that we closed the lid and reopened <laughs> like a lot's changed. What have we got? John McQuatt, congratulations. Thank you, John. <laughs> Remember, call up. The phones are quiet. Why are they quiet? Why is anyone calling? Matt, have you got a call? I do have a call, actually. Right. You, uh, <laughs> Who have we got? <laughs> Gertrude Wett. Great, thank you. And I think we've got one more. This is a racing polo shirt signed by Todd and Rick Kelly, thanks to Channel 31's longest running race program, Pit Lane. And the winner is Virginia Brooke. Congratulations. It's not too late. Call up, subscribe, get your name in the barrel. We're coming up with more dares, more callers. See you soon. Thanks for silly. We've got the guys from the shambles down there. C31. That's it. Subscribe-a-thon. 9660 3131. And now with me, put your hands together from the guys from the shambles. Put your hands together. Hey! Welcome, boys. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing well. I'm very excited to meet you. People who have seen the shambles know that there are three of us normally. It's Sauce, Valvo and Lynchy. Sauce couldn't make it today, so we've got a mop in his replacement. And look at that. The resemblance, uncanny. And smells the same too, which is awesome. Yes, he's actually frailing too. It's pretty... That's crazy. So how are you guys going anyway? sexually abuse Sauce like that. No, we won't. We're going really, really well. Channel 31 told us about tonight, and as soon as we heard about it, we jumped on board because we did three seasons on Channel 31. So we did nearly 40 episodes, and it was like an amazing time we had yeah. in Channel 31. When did you start? When did you, did you actually start? Uh, I hadn't gone through puberty yet when we started. Yeah, which is and, and he still was, hasn't, which is really cool. Yeah, seven fantastic. years ago. Uh, we started in 2000 and... Uh, 2004, we were yeah. back, back, back in the day. You know, the old days. No, facility. I don't, mate. You don't? I have memory loss at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Too many tomatoes. Um, Cucumbers, actually. <laughs> yeah, so we started in 2004. We okay. did season one, then we did season two. But basically, then... basically, we got a chance to do it because we won a camera in a raffle. Okay, and so even though people often have a go at Channel 31 yeah, about yeah. quality, but it also gives people who have never been able to uh, yeah. put together their own shows to put together their own shows. And it's actually a pretty cool thing. So, so if you, it doesn't survive, yeah. we can't watch people plant tomatoes. Well, they'll be planting tomatoes and they'll be able to see them in digital form. Nice, big, long, round cucumbers and round tomatoes. Now tell me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really wrong. Oh, really. No, back. it does not. And you'll see it in widescreen also, folks. So make sure you subscribe now. Now tell me, you guys do all the editing yourselves and everything? So from scratch? And yeah, everything? yeah, we did absolutely everything ourselves. Yeah. You can probably tell when you watch the show. Yeah. Um, 40 but, episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a wonder yeah, they yeah. let you put them on. Uh, <laughs> I, I, a good memory of ours is we had to, all I remember about our show is you had to have, our episode had to be in by midnight, two days before it aired, so I remember being... Hasn't changed much. I right? remember <laughs> being in my car at 11.30 on the Eastern yeah. Freeway, speeding yeah. towards, not speeding, yeah, no, no, no there, there weren't any road rules back of then. Of course, getting, no. uh, getting to the building to put it in the after hours slot for Trev to put in. He used to call really confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit confused so here because you weren't even in puberty then. So what were you doing driving? <laughs> okay, there was a lot of things that happened, all right? We don't want to talk about it. Anyway, Jeez. so what we did this week is we asked Shambles viewers to yeah. email in their yes. favourite episodes of the Shambles, your okay. highlights of our show, okay. right? Yeah. You've got so some highlights? Yeah, of course. Really you've got to write them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a really big response. All right, let's have a look at this. We've got five emails. Yep, so awesome. So we're going to read every single one out. Okay, here we go. Let me, 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 let me
Okay, okay you ready? The writing's all the same too, by the way. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Shambles highlights from the viewers. Dear Shambles, my highlight was when you played all those video clips from the 80s. I loved Velvo's curly hair and large breasts. I think that was oh, chart busting that, that, that was chart busting 80s, but that's all right. What's the next letter there? Uh, it says, uh, Dear Shambles, uh, we, we really loved that highlight uh, when you planted all those tomatoes and kept saying your catchphrase, Maressi. <laughs> uh, that wasn't us oh, either, that's, actually. Um, that's, that was, okay, yeah. hang on. No, this one is that good. Dear Shambles, I really loved the time yeah. you and Hamish and Andy and Ryan Shelton did that show together. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh okay. no, hang on. That's, <laughs> oh, that's Radio Karate. Oh, okay, read that yeah. one. Cool, read that cool. one. Uh, uh, guys, I really love all those uh, all those video clips you play in the afternoon at 1700 hours in the afternoon. That's, that's, that's really fantastic. Oh, that, again, again oh, I don't think that's... You're struggling. Hang on, hang on about this one. Dear Shambles, my highlight was the time Harold Bishop went missing and then to return years later. I, I don't, don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think, think, I don't think it was actually show. seeing our show. show. But yeah. you can continue not seeing our show by subscribing to Channel 31. And if you subscribe here, okay, if you feel like we're Moira right now on Good Morning to America, Australia, here we go. If you call now, in the next five <laughs> callers are going to walk away with a double pass to see our show, The Shambles, live at a ballroom at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. That's right, folks, and I'm going to supply the steak knives if you don't, if you don't like the show either. So you can. <laughs> What's wrong, man? Don't Sorry. worry. Next time I'm going to have three brooms up here. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? <laughs> It's we okay. get asked to come here for charity and we get abused by the guy that plants tomatoes. <laughs> That's right. And blood and bait is my favourite fertiliser. <laughs> anyway, so yes, the next five people that call, the next five people that call the number are going to get a double pass to see Shambles Live at the Comedy Festival. So, so where are you guys doing at the moment? Just a comedy festival? Uh, yeah, we're doing 12 nights at the Comedy yep. Festival. So, uh, come When's that on again? Uh, it's on now. April, yeah. April 6 to uh, April 18 and basically Trades Hall, which is just up the road as well. Very supportive of yeah. uh, Channel 31. So comedyfestival.com.au because there's also um, Dave Thornton and a few other Channel 31 peeps in the Comedy Festival as well. So go to comedyfestival.com.au, search Shambles, don't worry about Dave Thornton. That's he, right. He doesn't need the help. I mean, he and if you forget to go there, don't forget to subscribe. C31 subscription 9660 3131. I'm Vasily. I'm waiting for your call. Okay, I think it's time for a bit of a check on our tally. We have 261 subscribers so far. That's pretty good. I know we can do better. Get on the phones, call, get your name in this barrel. We've got more prizes coming up. But right now, I'm going to come around. I'm going to chat to one of our Channel 31 hosts. This is Dragon. How are you going, Dragon? Hi, good. Thanks. Thanks. Dragon, what show do you host? I'm currently hosting Get Serial TV. So 7.30 till 8.30, tune in with Dragon and Rowdy. Now, you guys have just started your season. Yep. You're right in the middle of the, you know, the renovation. Yep, the so, takeover. when you first started, what did, where did you broadcast from? We broadcasted the first two episodes in the hallway between the kitchen and Jeff's <laughs> desk. Um, we did actually find out that Jeff sleeps under his desk, so that was a little awkward. Well, who's Jeff for everyone back at home? Um, Jeff is the programming manager right here. <laughs> um, so, a little bit of the money will be going towards Jeff and getting him a house. Getting him a house, okay. So you broadcasted from the kitchen. Are you in the studios yet? Um, yes, we are. We went into the studios last week. So check us out, 7.30 to 8.30. It's very exciting. You could swing three cats in that studio. It's quite impressive. So. Awesome. So that's what we need the money for, to buy cats to check to see if the studio is big enough. So ring up, subscribe, talk to Dragon. She'll tell you all about her money problems. She'll probably transfer it straight into her I've bank had account. The, um, the phone confiscated from me. I've been abusing the, the rights. I've been getting people's numbers. Dragon's been calling the horoscope line and uh, working out what, what type of week she's in for. But if you do want to actually call up and give money, don't call Dragon. Call someone else. Get your name in the barrel. Back to you, Vasily. That's right. Call me, folks. That's right, Jesse, thank you. Now, we're back here at RMIT, and we're going to go for a tour up in the control room and see exactly what goes on up there. So follow me. This is the way we go. Let's find the stairs. Turn right, they say. Here we go. There. All right, control room. It's got to be up there near the satellite dish, isn't it, right? Digital. All right, we're nearly there. Don't you guys have elevators here at RMIT for us old blokes? Hello, anybody home? Yeah. How are we going? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. How are we, ladies? Yeah, What's going on? What are we watching? Um, what? This isn't C31. No. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Scary yeah. stuff. So tell us your name? Uh, Nicole. Nicole, pleasure. You're, st you're timing me, aren't you? I am. You've That's got scary. One minute left. All right. So, so that break. I'll go to a break in half a minute. Your yeah, name? Yeah. 
Oh, my name is Sarah. Okay, can I press a button? Yeah, go for it. No, That'd do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's 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 wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave a gardener in front of a control room, especially computers. And your name, buddy? I'm Peter. Peter. I'm doing the graphics, so you can see the C31. Thing. Make me look skinnier, will you? I look fat there. No. Okay. Digital widescreen. Don't you say stretch me? So you can call the number, 9660-3131. Yeah, we need everybody to subscribe now. You can hear the phones ringing in the background, 9660-3131. How long have I got to go? You've got 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Now, folks, we're up here at RMIT. All these lovely students here are learning to take over the industry. This is, this is the grassroots of tomorrow's future. Now, we've got C31 going digital. We need your support. Vasily's Garden's going to be there too in widescreen surround sound. You never know. We might even come in 3D one day. We're nearly there? Yep, you can throw it down. <laughs> Thank you very much. Plenty more coming up after the break, so make yourself a cup of coffee and we'll see you shortly. C31 viewers out there, Channel 31 will be going digital pretty soon and we need your support for the subscriber-thon. Johnny, what's the boxing show meant for you? I mean, the box show has built up my career like nothing else could have, you know what I mean? I mean, it's been behind me right from the start pretty much. And uh, just everyone should get behind it. All. Everyone that's always supported should be behind it and everyone else should jump on board that, that's not watching it now. I mean, that's where you find out all your local boxing news. That's, that's, the only, that's the only chance that we get to get on and say our thoughts, you know, ask boxers. So everyone get behind the boxers and get behind the boxing show. The boxing show, supporting the local community, supporting local boxers, and uh, you guys who want to subscribe to it, it's a fantastic cause, www.c31.org.au. Fantastic. And welcome back. Now, get your gloves on because our next guest tonight here is Peter Magnatis from The Boxing Show. How are you, buddy? Well, I've definitely got harder and reach on you, so I think I've got Don't you worry, covered. Mate. The taller they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> <you. laughs> here you go, buddy. No, All going well? Yeah, everything's How's the going show great, going? Guns. Yeah, it's going good. We're good um, covering a lot of events, local and international. Yeah. We covered the Danny Green fight with Roy Jones Jr. Yes. and giving the boxing fans exactly what they want. Now, digital's so close, exactly. I mean, exactly. we need to land the KO out. blow somewhere. Yeah, that'd be good, mate. That'd be good, mate. We've got to get the people there to support us and subscribe today. 9660-3131. Great efforts. You've been around for seven, eight years, almost as long as we have, if not yeah. the same time. Long service leaves coming good up. Stuff. But, uh, scary, good stuff. Scary, scary, scary. Good okay, to go then we're going to go back to Jess, I believe, uh, to the phone rooms, and let's see how Jess is going up there. Okay, thanks Peter, thanks for silly. Now, we had Hamish Blake call up before, he is an ex-Channel 31 celeb, and he was very generous, him and Andy donated some money to help 31. Now, I think maybe to up them, we have uh, Ryan Shelton here on the phone, you there Ryan? Yeah, hi Jess Harris, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, excellent, thanks, I'm just watching you on TV now. Are you, how do I look? You look excellent. Thank you. you. Excellent. I'm going to look even better in high definition if we get all this digital money. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, that'd be great. I'll hopefully be able to help. Now, what was your show when you were on 31? Uh, Radio Karate, it was called. We did six episodes. Yep. Uh, so three hours of telly in total. So there are people doing a lot more than us who are a bit lazy, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so what, what did that propel you into? Uh, well, from there we went to, we did some stuff at Channel 7 and then uh, at the ABC and, yeah. and then at Channel 10 on, on Rove and we did a show called Real Stories as well. Okay, so things are going pretty bad. Are you going to come back to 31? So, yeah, I think hopefully. Well, now that it's in high def. Now that it's sorry. in high def, exactly. All right, well, thanks so much for calling, Ryan. We'll get That's your right. money, lots of your money. And I'd, if like, you... I'd, I'd, actually like, I'd actually like to subscribe twice if I could. Yes, you can do that. We, we've got no restrictions on how many times because, you can subscribe. The only reason, because it's in perfect present. There's a, there's a friend of mine called Lady Gaga, and it's her birthday today. Okay. And I want to get her a subscription. So okay. she'll be wrapped. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You're hogging the airtime. We're going to go back to the silly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Jess. Now, with us, 
we have the folks from Hound TV. Now, they're going to do some great tricks, but before we go there, let's go to a great clip from The Union Show. Hi, I'm Casey Dickey, host of The Union Show. Channel 31 is the only place where we can broadcast real stories about real people. Support them in their quest to switch to digital today. Call or visit their website. Mayday to me, it's like, a, it's like a holy day of obligation. That connection I have with workers from all around Victoria. A day for workers to feel that they've got their friends around them and uh, there's solidarity there. It's very much a, a day of internationalism for me, a day when we remember workers' struggles all over the world. They say uh, dinosaurs cease to exist, but the coming days and months will determine whether here in Canberra they still rule in Parliament. The Commission has therefore decided to leave Australia's federal minimum wage unchanged. It entrenches inequality. No other work in Australia has been made to bear the brunt of the economic crisis in this way. Workers before me! Workers before me! C31 viewers out there, Channel 31 will be going digital pretty soon and we need your support for the subscriber-thon. Johnny, what's the boxing show meant for you? I mean, the boxing show has built up my career like nothing else could have, you know what I mean? I mean, it's been behind me right from the start pretty much. And uh, just everyone should get behind it. All. Everyone that's always supported should be behind it and everyone else should jump on board that, that's not watching it now. I mean, that's where you find out all your local boxing news. That's, that's, the only, that's the only chance that we get to get on and say our thoughts, you know, us boxers. So everyone get behind the boxers and get behind the boxing show. The boxing show, supporting the local community, supporting local boxers, and uh, you guys who want to subscribe to it, it's a fantastic cause, www.c31.org.au. Fantastic. And welcome back. Now get your gloves on because our next guest tonight here is Peter Magnatis from The Boxing Show. How are you, buddy? Well, I've definitely got hide and reach on you, so I think I've got Don't you worry, mate. The taller they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> Believe me, <mate. laughs> Here you go, buddy. No, All going well? Yeah, everything's How's the going show going? Guns. Yeah, it's going good. We're good um, covering a lot of events, local and international. Yeah. We covered the Danny Green fight with Roy Jones Jr. Yes. And Giving the boxing fans exactly what they want. Now, digital's so close. Exactly. I mean, exactly. It's we need to land the KO it. blow somewhere. Yeah, that'd be good, oh, mate. Silly. That'd be good, mate. We've got to get the people there to support us and subscribe today. 9660 3131. Great efforts. You've been around for seven, eight years, almost as long as we have, if not yeah. the same time. Long service leaves coming good up. Stuff. But, uh, scary, good stuff. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, to go digital. Then we're going to go back to Jess, I believe, uh, to the phone rooms, and let's see how Jess is going up there. Okay, thanks Peter, thanks Vasily. Now, we had Hamish Blake call up before, he is an ex-Channel 31 celeb, and he was very generous, him and Andy donated some money to help 31. Now, I think maybe to up them, we have uh, Ryan Shelton here on the phone, you there Ryan? Yeah, hi Jess Harris, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, excellent, thanks, I'm just watching you on TV now. Are you? How do I look? You look excellent. Thank you. you. Excellent. I'm going to look even better in high definition if we get all this digital money. Well, that's true. That's true. Well, that'd be great. I'll hopefully be able to help. Now, what was your show when you're on 31? Uh, Radio Karate. It was called. We did six episodes. Yeah. Uh, so three hours of telly in total. So there are people doing a lot more than us. <laughs> are a bit lazy to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I know. And so, what, what did that propel you into? Uh, well, from there we went to, we did some stuff at Channel 7 and then uh, at the ABC and, yeah. and then at Channel 10 on, on Rove and we did a show called Real Stories as well. Okay, so things are going pretty bad. You're going to come back to 31? So, yeah, I think hopefully. Well, now that it's in high def. Now that it's so in like, high def, exactly. All right, well, thanks so much for calling, Ryan. We'll get your money, right. lots of your money. And I'd, if like, you... I'd, I'd, actually like, I'd actually like to subscribe twice if I could. Yes, you can do that. We, we've got no restrictions on how many times you because can subscribe. The only reason, because it's in perfect present. There's a, there's a friend of mine called Lady Gaga, and it's her birthday today. Okay. And I want to get her a subscription. So okay. she wrapped. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You're hogging the airtime. We're going to go back to the silly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank you, Jess. Now, with us, we have the folks from Hound TV. Now, they're going to do some great tricks, but before we go there, let's go to a great clip from the Union Show. 
Hi, I'm Casey Dickey, host of The Union Show. Channel 31 is the only place where we can broadcast real stories about real people. Support them in their quest to switch to digital today. Call or visit their website. Mayday to me, it's like, a, it's like a holy day of obligation. That connection I have with workers from all around Victoria. A day for work was to feel that they've got their friends around them and uh, their solidarity there. It's very much a, a day of internationalism for me, a day when we remember workers' struggles all over the world. They say uh, dinosaurs cease to exist, but the coming days and months will determine whether here in Canberra they still rule in Parliament. The Commission has therefore decided to leave Australia's federal minimum wage unchanged. It entrenches in <coughs> No other work in Australia has been made to bear the brunt of the economic crisis in this way. Work has before me! Work has before me! Work has before me! is that every shift we are pushed to our limits. Resolutions passed today condemning the state government in their act. It's been a really long struggle, um, three years of taking to the streets and marching for a fair deal for cleaners and that's what they've won and it's an exciting time. This is the season to have a go. This is the season to sort it out. This is the season for you to finally get a decent pay rate that we think you deserve. All those in favour of accepting the company's offer of 2.5% raise your hands. All those in favour of rejecting the company's offer raise your hands. So we're here now and we're going to stay. To get such a simple thing happening, to get something like this, this is amazing. Being in a trade union and being part of a trade union is not just about having a good enterprise agreement, it's about having a global vision of the type of world that we want. A vision where there is no poverty, where workers are not oppressed or exploited. That's the union vision. We have two families. Our, our love interest at home this is our professional family. That's your love interest at sea. <laughs> there are ways there. Welcome back again. Welcome. We're here. The union show support us because they support you too. Now with us we have Steve. Steve, pleasure. Vasily, how are you? I'm very well from Hound TV. Now tell us about Hound TV. How long has it been on air? It's been on air a couple of years. Yep. And it's the, the world's first. Mm -hmm. Well, actually probably not. But anyway, it's a show about dogs. It's a show just for dogs, really. Fantastic. Now they say don't work with children and animals. Mm, they're wrong. Yeah. They're wrong? Uh, what can I say? Oh, look, I've tried in backyards of um, homes working yep. with animals and it's yep. always been that little bit tender. Uh, it can be, yeah. but we kind of get used to it. Like today we were working yeah. with children and animals at the okay. same time and the okay. animals were trying to eat the children and whatever. But, oh, you great. Know, you just, <laughs> yeah. you know. So we'll see them on the news later on, you Possibly, say. yeah. But <laughs> okay. you work with what you've got. So. Fantastic. Now you've, got a, you've brought a friend in with us? Yeah, this here is Moses and yes. uh, Moses is human Julie. Hello, Julie. How <laughs> are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Now, what does Moses do? Oh, he does. Lots of, lots of tricks. What sort of breed is Moses? He's a Nova Scotia yeah. duck tolling retriever. Try saying that three times quickly. No, I'm not going to even go. He's a brown hairy dog, if you ask me. Yep. Now, what does he do? Oh. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll yeah. Show, show us. It. What sort of tricks? Now, this is where we're going to try and, yeah. um, you know, hold Moses to ransom and, yeah. you know, get the Hound TV viewers that I know there's one or two of you out there to yeah. actually dig deep and subscribe and then we'll get him to, you know, do something really good. Okay, so we're just showing you the but, basic uh, this tricks. But this goes. is the freebie anyway, yeah, so okay. guys, come on. Yeah, we'll get, we need everybody to subscribe now, but look at this. Now, how long would it take to, to train a dog? Oh, this would take minutes. I mean... Minutes to train uh, a dog? Months. Yeah. Months. Okay, so he can learn this. 
Look at that. That's amazing. What is she feeding him to be able to do this sort of stuff, man? <laughs> Not very much. And then, um, <laughs> and then if he gets this right, he'll get his dinner. Good idea. No, idea. actually, it's, it's actually surprisingly... I mean, these are obviously pretty... This is pretty yeah. advanced, but yeah. people don't realise how easy it is to teach tricks. It's the yeah. same as teaching anything else, really. You just do it step by step, and okay. you just got to be really patient. And yeah. they do the first bit that you want them to do. Look they get a reward that. and so on. That's amazing. Yeah. I do that so too when my wife says all over. It's great. Yeah. yeah. You'll oh, be yeah. in the doghouse now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might be rolling along tonight. How old's Moses? Uh, I don't, can't tell you that. You can't tell me? No, he's not my dog, so all I know is... But he's know, a fantastic, he listens He's a good well. performer. Oh yeah, is, he's a great performer, look you know, at that. Possibly the best we have on Hound TV. Yeah. We might audition him six. to uh, He's present. six years of age. Six. Wow. Now, I thought of having a dog, and they take a lot of re um, responsibility, obviously, but it's not yeah. just the tricks and that. You need to take them for their walks, you've got to look after them, hygiene and everything. Absolutely, and, yes. and mostly they just need a lot of attention. Like, yeah. um, you know, people like to have a dog and have yeah. it in the backyard and think that's it, okay. but um, yeah, you've got to get out there with well, your dog. Effort. And... Well, congratulations, great effort, and we'll support you too, and we'll see it in digital, and we'll be able to see Please. exactly what he does. And even if you think Hound TV is not worth $31, <laughs> Channel 31 is. Uh, is that is do right it. now. Subscribe now. Let's go back to Jess in the phone room and see how she's going. Okay, thank you, Vasily. It looks like some fancy little tricks going on down there. Everything is going so well up here. We had some old Channel 31 alumni calling up. Hamish Blake subscribed. Ryan Shelton just subscribed twice. Gold, very generous. Thank and you, I think Ryan. Ryan was actually going to buy a subscription for Lady Gaga. So she's he now was. officially subscribed. Yeah. So thank you very much, Lady Gaga. And now you've been doing some dares for us. What, what, what's up next? Well, we actually just had uh, a caller who refused to subscribe unless a very particular dare was undertaken. This okay. is not one that we've written this is not an emailed one this say, they actually said genuinely okay it was ryan said right, uh, right, right. i'd like to see a nerdy run right. so uh we've got i've already drunk a hamburger you have. and had my bottom waxed You've so i thought it's stefan's turn yep stefan you there mate oh my god oh <laughs> <laughs> for the community it's more of a nerdy <laughs> wobble you're not running I, I can't <laughs> run mate run, run. run. chop chop <laughs> On your bike, mate. On your bike. Here we go. This is Answer. how much we want your money. Answer a call. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know why we thought it would be a good idea to harass our volunteers right. you and our you very, very... You might need a banana, <laughs> Stefan. Do you want a banana, mate? Or? <laughs> so is that the last of the dares we're going to see from you tonight? We've got one more dare. One more? One more. If we can make the 300 mark. If we make 300, we've got yeah. one more dare. We've got one more All dare. Right. Great. Thanks, guys. Well, I kind of look forward to it. Hi, Mum. <laughs> Back to you, Vassell. That's some crazy day going over on over there, Jess. I think I'll be saying with my little four-legged friend here. Now we're gonna go to a break. We've got plenty more coming up after it, so, so stay tuned. Sign up now, c31.org.au, 9660 3131. Who's a cute little baby? Eh? Who's a cute little boy? All creatures great and small. We've got a beautiful animal in here. It's a beautiful rabbit. He does, he does a better hop. Oh, that was pretty good. It's pretty good. Good on you, mate, and just look at the camera. That's good. Look, hops a lot. Where's the carrot? Come on, hops. I'll give him a hand. I'll give him a hand. This is quite hidden. It's over there, mate. It's going. Look at that. It's pretty good. G'day C31 viewers, it's Ado here from Blokesford and boy are we excited. C31 is going digital, that's right. But first up, they need your help. Become a subscriber today and support the channel that you love and you will receive in the post weekly updates, newsletters, a bumper sticker. You'll be in the draw to win awesome prizes, including thanks to our sponsors, Strong Australia, we're giving away today one of these awesome HD set top box recorders so you can record all your favorite shows on c31 including blokes world and a whole stack of others that's right switch on a digital help c31 go to the address get on the phone subscribe today and here's a clip of our new series of blokes world in hawaii i'll see you soon yeah yeah ultra banger silly with it weapon x yeah 
I'm not known for the singing of the common man's grammar. Jay from the clan, but I'm not a Wu Tanger. Concrete gorilla, still spitting bananas. We set the foundation, by swinging a new hammer. Glitz in the glamour comes secondary to my timeless jewels and street knowledge degrees. Come on. Weapon X haters down on your knees. Throw your rhymes in the flames and repent to the east. One, two, three, and a three, two, one. Exodus, hip hop redemption. Resurrection, tell folks I'm on one. Like my boy and I'm a star. Me, more free, dumb. Round the mountain I come. Hannibal's descendant won't stand for minimum. Dummy those done as I bring the hella heat. My underground scroll spellbound in the streets. Weapon X, hot back for the next level boom. He's back. Silly models, dark sun, give me room. Weapon X, grand bird, modern day doc doom. I'm on it for the jihad, the cypher. Right, well, that was the guys from Blokes World, and we have got their DVDs here to win. I just want to say a quick shout out to Peter Howlett. Yeah. He just uh, rung up, subscribed, 75. Thank you very much. Ooh. Now, if you want to get your name in the draw to win prizes, that's what you do. You subscribe. So I've got these three DVDs to give away. Let's go, boys. Jump in there, Craig. These are my barrel bitches. <laughs> here and we the go. First name, George Putra. Thank you. You've won a Ooh. DVD. Next one. <laughs> Deep, deep. Come deep. on, get in there. Yes. What have we got? Forte Stambanis. Stambanis. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's it. Great. Well done. Thanks, well, DVD coming your Last way. One you got Last one. one. Um, for this round, we've still got plenty more prizes to give away. I can't reach so the keep bottom. Keep calling. What have we got? Trevor, Trevor Taylor. Taylor. It's kind of like two first names. Yes. Trevor Taylor. You've just won a Blokes World DVD. If you want to win one too, all you got to do is subscribe. But back to you, Vasily. Thank you, Jess. Put your hands together for Jess. She's doing a great job over there at C31 headquarters. And now with us, folks, please welcome our lovely friend here from No Limits. Hello. How are you, Stella? I'm well, Vasily. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Now, Excellent. thank you for coming in. Not a problem. It's well, a pleasure well, to be here. Yeah, it is. And we're here to support C31 going digital. Absolutely. It's mm. that time. Yeah, it, it is. It happen. is. We've got the licence. We just need everybody to sign up now to subscribe now to C31. 9660 3131. Now, No Limits. Yes. Where did it start from? How long ago did it start? Uh, it started in 2003. We've mm -hmm. done nine seasons of No Limits. So Great effort. It's been, yeah. um, it's been pretty full on. And we kind of yeah. just started it because um, there was nothing for the disability community okay. to kind of, you know, you don't see many disabled people on TV. No. You know, just people pretending they're blind on neighbours yeah, and stuff. Yeah, doesn't really yeah, cut it. Yeah. So we were after some proper sort of representation. So. <laughs> Represent um, a lot of dead people too, because they do a lot of fake deaths too. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> they do fairly poorly. Yeah, they do, don't they? But yeah. But yeah. well, that's what that's what happens on the other networks. <laughs> now, no limits. Uh, seven years ago, about fifteen awards. Is it or twenty now? Oh, I'm not sure actually what our tally <laughs> is. Cleaned up, I think. Yeah, uh, we've been. Maybe, maybe we've beaten you to the post a couple of times. More than a couple of <laughs> times, I think, there, my dear. <laughs> it's, the, it's the actual motor you got in there. I've only got yeah. one gear in mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good effort. Yeah, yeah. We, well, we started, we started No Limits to kind of um, raise awareness of breaking down barriers yes. and stuff. Um, but the sort of people who contacted us were fairly, were fairly interesting in the beginning. We had a blind hairdresser okay. contact us. And uh, I whoa, thought... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, I know. Ooh. It was when we began to think there perhaps should be some limits. There, and maybe the name of the show, you know, was not so appropriate. Okay. Yeah, she apparently cuts hair by a feel. We're a bit concerned about that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And if you've yeah. got really curly hair and hairy fingers, she's yeah. got hair yourself. And she learned in the 80s before she went blind, so... Okay. So she's got, she's got the touch for it. Yeah, yeah, apparently. So you've had a haircut from her, obviously, because it's beautiful. Oh, thank <laughs> it's you. wonderful. You yeah, know, I, I prefer <laughs> sighted hairdressers myself. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So where's the show going tomorrow now? No well, limits. it'll it'll keep going. I've yep. actually um, I'm stepping down this season, oh, so yeah? there'll be room for Where more crew. Um, I'm just kind of concentrating on my stand up stuff. So yeah, um, comedy. Yeah, Good on yeah. I'm um, I'm going to be in the Shambles show with the, the lovely Shambles boys. So you're replacing the, the broom, are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm the new sauce. <laughs> okay. You see the resemblance? Yeah. Uh, I prefer you any day, my yeah. dear. <laughs> Thanks, Vasily. So No Limits is going to still be broadcasting, obviously, in digital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And it's, you know, community television is yeah. 
And it's place. important because we've got a lot of people out there who want to be involved and they, sometimes there are not enough information or not, there's not enough information for dis disabled people. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And being able to understand, even for those who aren't, to understand it better for those disabled people. Definitely. How, how the system works or I suppose transport, you know. In my per personal field with uh, gardening, uh, community gardens now are very much involved with helping the dis um, people with dis disadvantages and yeah. disabilities. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, D Channel 31 is such, such an accessible kind of it medium is. For, for lots of different things. So it's yeah. really, yeah, it's really good. It's helped us kind of raise some awareness. I like to think that after nine seasons, you know, disability is a bit more palatable on I Australian think it is. TV. I believe it is. Maybe we'll get a real blind person on Neighbours one day. Yeah, they should, yeah. shouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah I None think of this so. Blair from Big Brother yeah. stumbling around with Sunnies. Just like what we do, we've got real gardeners on my show. Real gardeners, that's excellent. Stuff there. Now, you saw earlier, we got the blokes world before. We saw yes. a little clip there. Yes. Now, we're not going to be biased in that way. So we've got one coming up right now. It's called Chicks World. So sit back and enjoy. I'm Kami. I'm Tinkerbell. And I'm JJ. And, and we're, we're Chicks World. And as Channel 31 approaches the digital era of broadcasting, we would like to remind viewers just how important Channel 31 really is. For us, community television is about representing our community in all its diversity. And having the chance to promote amazing, unique individuals and women that can tell their stories to you. Check us out. Uh, what does Australia Day mean to you? Hot women, sunshine and beer. Um, kind of means like it's invasion day to me. It means me wearing my flag, which is not on my face right now. So, what do you think about Australia Day? <laughs> it's Mama now. Do you know we well? So I read somewhere your skateboarding crew would be over when you could do a back tail slide with your eyes closed. Can you do it yet? No, I'm failing, but I'm still skateboarding, so there's still time. <laughs> still time to that. Still time, yeah. Cheeks world! <laughs> So to keep shows like Chicks World on your airwaves, Channel 31 needs your support. By switching to digital and subscribing, you can help keep Chicks World on the air. Woohoo! Chicks, Chicks World! World! Is this all? <laughs> That's Chicks World for you! That's what we're talking about. Now, we've got the Blokes yeah. World, we've got Chicks World now. Stella's been with us here too. Now, remember, C31, we need to get you to subscribe. The more that people come on, the quicker we can do the transition and the smoother it is for all of us. It's yeah. 9660 3131. How would you like to see Vasili's garden in widescreen digital surround sound? Could you imagine Vasili playing the accordion in that sound? Oh, that'd be yeah. awesome. I've got to have you on a show one day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you got a garden? I can plant tomatoes. I actually yeah. killed a cactus, Vasili. You kill a cactus. a cactus. You are not a green thumb. No, not I'm at really all. not. I'm no really not. Nowhere near us. I'll just keep you right away from the gardens. Yeah. But we'll have you up there with the shambles enjoying the comedy. Yeah, yeah. And keep up the good work. No Limits will still be on there. I'm Vasily, sign up now, ring 9660-3131. And I think we should go over to Jess and see how she's going up there at C31 headquarters. Left. We've still got 23 minutes left for you to subscribe. We're going to do a quick tally update to see where we're at. What are we at? We're at 2... 284. That's pretty good, but I know we can do better. Now, I've got Tony here. Yes, I'm from the PI show. Yeah. And, uh, When's the PI show? Wednesdays, 9.30. Make sure you watch it. And also watch all the other shows. It's a great station. It is. TV. And you've been on the phone, so have you had any interesting callers call up? Yeah, I've had a couple of Italian ladies ring up and they're saying that they love the community feel about the show. They don't like all those commercial TVs, yeah. TV yeah. stations. And uh, yeah, it's good to talk to them in Italian, get a few uh, dollars out of them. So you, you, you speak fluent Italian and they called up and we answered the, uh, the call in Italian? Yeah, yeah, they, I don't speak fluent Italian, but enough to be able to understand what they're saying. Yeah. It's all happening. It's all going really well. Plug your show one more time. 
The PI show, Wednesday, 9.30. Right, well, get back to the phones. Get back to the phones. We've got 23 minutes still left for you to call up. We've got one more prize draw still to come. So there's still plenty of time for you to call up, get your name in that barrel, give us money. We've got a hard sell happening here. But back to you, Vasily. And we've got some more great entertainment to come up for you shortly. We have got some dancing, I believe so. But where are we going now? I've got to bring my floor manager up here on stage. <laughs> Let's go to a break. We'll see you shortly, straight after this break. Super Duper Telethon, Telethon Live. Live. Auction, celebrity auction, still coming out, still going absolutely gangbusters. Isn't it, Jerry, mate? It is, don't touch it. We've me. got the original Mount Dunkmore poster Whoa. here, first pic poster ever erected here at the Channel 31 studio. Still in analog form, original cast, you beauty. Also, the World Expo 88 mug, where were you? Uh, it's a beautiful ceramic mug, and we're gonna start that quick. Sorry, quick, Jerry, can we get a shot of that, mate? And we're gonna start the bidding at $1. $1. It's white. One dollar. It's got a handle. And one dollar. Mug-tastic. Still waiting on the one dollar. Beautiful mug. Hi, I'm Michael Kazilny and thank you very much for watching. Channel 31 has been servicing Melbourne and Geelong for over two decades now and we're just about to go digital. Any donation would be appreciated, and Channel 31 would love you, the viewer, to become a subscriber. There's more information on the website. Channel 31, servicing the community. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome back. We're going to do a quick tally update to see where we're at. We are currently Hi, on 292. We want to get 300 to get the boys to do a next dare. Yeah. But in the break, we, we drew some prizes. We've got a lot to give away here, so we did it in the break. Our winners are Jacqueline Van Heerden. You have won a rug from Rugs Galore. Thank hey. you for subscribing. And we have... What have you got here? Um, I've got like a, um, a HD... TV recorder. I'm not very technical, so it's just a box that does awesome stuff and with a sumo wrestler, TV. and yeah. he comes with it. You get him he's too. Inflatable. Yeah. Okay. Great. And he'll well, fight for you. we've got four of these to give away. We drew it in the break, and the winners are Megan Ellis, Joe Montebello, Benjamin Speth, and Jeffrey Goldsworthy. Well done. Congratulations. Good team. Thank you. Well done. And, and what do you have over here? I don't know. This is what we are doing this all for. This is the box you put on top oh, of your tally. Box. It's a digi box. And a winner of that is Alexia Allen. Congratulations, Alexia. Now we have uh, one $20 Laser Games voucher from Fun City. The winner of that is Martin Edwards. And by Martin Edwards, you mean Stefan and Craig. Yes, yes so you guys. I'm working new best friends. We're yes. coming with you. And we have a whole lot of vouchers here for Garden World. I'm going to quickly name who won that. We've got Anthony Trey. Victorian, Josie Italia, June Pelham, Jim Land, Darren Craven, Linda Heller, Zara Black and Andrew Robbins. Well done all of you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for subscribing. Down at the RMO TV studios, we're going to cut to some Latin dancing. But also coming up, we have Dave Thornton, very popular comedian. He was the host of Studio A Live. He's down there ready to entertain you all. Back to you, Vasily. We're back here at C31, RMIT. Dave's not with us at the moment, but with us we have the members from Kat Katumba. Katumba. Let's see, the Latin dancers, congratulations. How Thanks, are you? Man. Welcome Great. for coming in. Put your hands together, everybody, for them. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. That's yeah. well, that's well. Now, you're Michael. That's correct, yes. yes. Now, how long have you guys been together? Um, almost 10 years. Yeah? Yeah. Professional dancers? Professional yeah. dance, Latin dance company. Yeah. Um, there's about 25 of us. Um, okay. And most of us are based in Victoria. All right. And we do shows around all of Australia, basically. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, with... there's not 25 here tonight, is Obviously there? Obviously not, no. We're not going to no. fit them. No, we there's won't fit them. I see a lot of colour in the background there. Yeah, we've got an awesome okay. show coming your way. Okay, yeah. looking forward to it. Now, tell me the, the background story of the show you're going to perform for us tonight. Um, we, we're just trying to show the, most of the styles that we do. Yeah. Um, we've got a Latin hip-hop number to start okay. off with, then we're right. doing a salsa, okay. which is um, 
bit of Colombian, bit of okay. Cuban style, and then we're going to Brazil and we're okay. going to do Rio Carnaval. Looking Samba. forward to that. Yeah. Who have we got with us here today? Your name? Rihanna. Pleasure. So what sort of style are you dancing? Tonight I'm doing the Cuban salsa. You're doing a human salsa? Cuban. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I've lost my hearing, folks. <laughs> Now, the outfit, it's gorgeous. I love the colours, honestly. Is that a typical traditional outfit or is that yeah, just something that your creation? Yeah, a bit of, bit of blink, you know, doesn't yeah, a little bit go astray. Yeah, yeah. Showtime, you know, Fantastic. it's all about the colours okay, and looking the energy. Forward to it. Well, that's a lovely colour there. Have a look at this piece here. You, I should have in my garden. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's been cropped from the garden. Your name? Sharon. Pleasure. Now, what's this outfit about? This is the, the Brazilian outfit, basically yes. a carnival style of outfit. Yep. And um, around Febu January, February in Brazil, they have the big carnival and you can expect stuff like this and a lot of um, shaking and, you know, breaking it down. I'll tell you something, coming. mate. Greece hasn't got that. And I'm going to learn a little bit about Brazil there. Show us a little <laughs> bit of your tail. Look at those feathers, Ruffle. Uh, the gentleman here, your name? Pepito. Pepito, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, very well. Now, your style, what are you doing? Uh, Jill and I are doing a breaking number. Hello, Jill, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice of you to come in. Now, you're doing a breakout, is it? Breaking. Breaking, breaking. number. So, you're also break known things. as break dance. There's plenty of cameras I'd like you to break here yeah, tonight, okay, I'll tell you excellent. that, because they're not organic for me. Okay. Okay, so, now, I saw you do something earlier on the mm -hmm. floor. It was yep. on your head, and it's something that I do with a bobcat. We call it post hole drilling. Yes. Can you show that again, or you, have you changed? Caps or something? Um, yeah, I've changed caps. Yeah. It will be part of the show. Is it? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Uh, it's called a head spin. So. It's a head spin? Yes. Okay, yes. all right, folks. We're going to see a head spin. We're going to see a bit of Brazilian. And we're going to do a little bit of salsa dancing. Do you want to show us a couple of the moves now? Yeah, sure. All right, show okay. us what, we, show what we're in for. Yeah. Okay, this is salsa. <laughs> We'll get the full hog in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Now, we've got the break, breaking dancing. Yeah. The break, oh, my apologies, mate. You're right, you're right. Breaking, that's right. breaking, that's it. And you're doing the Brazilian, samba. I've got samba, feathers and all that. We've got a couple more out there. How many more are going to be oh, performing? Oh, we've got a couple more and I'm hoping that at the end of the show, can you join us as well? Oh, I'm happy to. Yeah, Love right, to. Right, I would so never say no to a I'll, dance. I'm, I'm right to pull you in and shake it up with you us. You don't have to pull me, mate. I'll be here right in the middle of it all. <laughs> I'll even spin on my head if I can. There you go, there you go. <laughs> we're going to dance there. Okay, so we're going to go to a dance, folks. Now, I think we're throwing it back to Jess. No, we're going to dance straight away. Okay, so let's put the music on. So who's going to go first? These guys are going first. Please, let's go for it. Let's have a look.
your hands together for them. What a magnificent performance. Katumba. Katumba, congratulations, <laughs> mate. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Now, where can we see you guys perform? Um, we perform regularly at Copacabana. Yes. Yes, so yes. Fridays and Saturdays. And yep. just ask for the Katumba show before you book your dinner. Yeah, make sure you guys are there. Make sure that we're there. Yes. Um, and all around, really... all around Victoria, all around Australia yeah. as well. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, we perform for everything. Amazing, amazing. Put your hands together for Katumba. And let's see. And let's go back to C31 headquarters and see how they're going. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, you again. Mate. Well, here we are in the call centre. Moses. Settle down. Yeah. Settle down. He's, he's very good at taking calls, getting subscribers. <laughs> I think he. I think he's actually brought us up to the magic number, correct? Yeah, I think have we. We've actually we, reached 300 subscribers. 300. 300 Woo! even, which means Stefan, you have to do the final yeah. there, and you shall be the human canvas. Behold, my manly body shall become the human canvas. In my hand, I possess a marker, and I shall draw on Stefan, and everyone else in here will be able to draw on Stefan. Why is it that I do the ones where I'm humiliated in public, and you just get to deal with, you know? Vomiting. You lose a coin toss, it changes history. Fine. Uh, so I'm just going to write up straight up there. I'm just going to do an eye, uh, a heart, like this. And then I'll come over this side. And then I'm just going to write. It's sad that I'm used to this treatment. A C, like this. 30, 1. Now, this is permanent, by the way. It's, really? It's permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I'd just like to do a call out now to anyone who isn't on the phone at the moment. If you've got a marker, Let's just draw on Stefan. Let's celebrate the brilliance of community oh, television, oh, of what C31 good. does by drawing on ah, Stefan. This is uh, how committed he is. No, this can't be. There's some sort of law against... What are you writing? Anybody else with a pen, Don't put, come forth. No. No, Moses oh, won't write. I love, I love fish television, so I'll, uh, I'll just draw a little fish here. And he's loving it. Everyone, come forth, draw. Come forth, draw. Oh. We've actually, we've had some gold member subscriptions. Oh, we've got to do a massive on, shout out to them uh, while Stefan's been drawn on. Andrew Clark, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, Hamish Blake, you know who you are. We know who you are. Thank you so much for your uh, donation, your contribution. Peter Stevens, John and Katie Sunner, well done both of you. Peter Parthamos as well, another gold Who member. Uh, Gary James, oh, right there. Joe Varga, uh, Kathleen Holland. Uh, you keep reading, yeah, mate. Who else? Ryan Shelton, Craig, Craig, Lady Gaga yep. has actually subscribed, yep. Alexia <laughs> Allen, <laughs> no, keep talking, keep talking, keep Shannon talking. Marinko, Eddie Rawlings and Lisa Mills, thanks so much guys <laughs> for putting me through this, <laughs> mum if you are watching, Be it's, proud what of his it's what I do, it's what I decided this is to do and I <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I look like I am Rico Gonzalez. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Is that Don't the you character reckon? you think you are? Yeah, you can't, can you actually see yourself in here? Yeah, totally. Um, has anyone got any requests? Moses, have you got a request of what I should draw on Stefan? Would Moses be a able bone. to draw on Stefan? He says a bone. A bone. All right, come here, mate. Come in. Let's 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 draw an arm bone oh, just for Moses there. This is no. Uh, what did you write over here? More subscriptions flooding in. You can still give us a call on 9660-3131 if you'd like to make a contribution, if you'd like to donate. We've already hit the uh, the big number that we want, Craig, but yep. of course, this is community television. Look, I'm crying tears of joy. Yeah. Tears of joy. And we need as much money as we can. And I'd like to thank the Academy for making this moment possible. Don't colour in the eyebrows. Why not? Oh, give us a wrap-up, please. <laughs> just... Thank you, yes. Why not? Well, a massive thank you to everybody here in the phone room. We've done a fantastic job. Woo, give yourself give a round of applause. applause. Woo. Oh, no, they're too busy they're taking too more busy. calls. They're thank you busy. so much for supporting C31. We really appreciate it here. We're going to bring you more amazing digital shows. Absolutely. Back to you, Jess and Vasily. That's right, folks. C31. 9660-3131. Subscribe now. Now, coming up, our next guest is stand-up comedian and presenter of his own show, Studio A. Give it up for Dave Thornton. Thank you, Vasily. Thanks, mate. I love Vasily. Okay, uh, guys, hi. What's going on? I, uh, hi. Thanks, guys. 
Hey, uh, have I got the right camera? Have I got the right camera? It's all good. I just want to make it a bit ramshackle to keep that 31 feel. Um, <laughs> hi, guys. So we're obviously raising money here for Digital Channel 31 so you guys can actually see static in more clarity. So I think it's worthwhile, people out there. Uh, FYI, because I used to have a show on here. Don't make a big thing of it. And uh, it was cool. I loved it here. And, uh, you know, it's been good since. I, uh, I joined a gym recently. This has been on the up. <laughs> Thanks for your support. I, uh, I, it's not easy when you're joining a gym, especially for a guy like me. You know, I'm not a, a buff character. Quite tall, 6'2". As you know, quite lanky. And I have size 13 feet, which is nice. <laughs> Sweet combo. Like, if I stand on the side, I actually look, look like an Allen key. So join a gym, very intimidating when you're at the gym. You know what I mean? Intimidating people there. Big guys, big guys, big, massive testosterone-filled guys. And like, they're orange, you know? Like, I don't know if it's fake tan or real undercoat, but they are orange. <laughs> and stand there and, you know, you try to act cool when you're around them, you know what I mean? But they're there just, just being like, you know, yeah, you're right with that, chap. You're right with that. You've got to pick that up, mate. You've got to get those. You've got to squeeze your muscle, get the red blood cell count in, then put it across here, then put it across there, then jump it across there, then be doing that. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and that's Fernwood. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, this weekend in Melbourne was big, Formula Ones. Did anyone here in this massive 31 audience go to the Formula Ones? No. 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 They're all uni students going, you think I could afford it? <laughs> I don't have a car of my own, goddammit. Um, I, uh, Formula Ones, I don't like it. There, I said it. I don't like it. If you're listening, I don't like it. I just, I don't like it. Michael Schumacher, I've noticed, is back. I don't trust him, especially when he was with Team Ferrari. Call me paranoid, but I don't like the fact that a short, little, arrogant German has teamed up with a group of Italians to try and get world domination. <laughs> I, uh... Now, I'm going to leave on this, right? Uh, I've been sweating because, to be honest with you, I've been running, running through the night, just running to be free. And um, I was like Kevin Bacon in Footloose. For all you tweens out there, YouTube it. But I... Uh... I have, I, and this is actually a story that made me feel fuzzy and warm because it was actually while I was running that I realised that we all laugh at the same things. Because last year I performed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Uh, it's the biggest festival in the world, I'm trying to make a big thing of it. But uh, I was there just doing my do, and I was really nervous, you know what I mean? Because you're overseas, you're going, God, are they going to laugh at the same things that I find funny? And so I was filled with all this nervous energy, and I don't usually do this, but I went for a run. I don't run. I never, I never wanted to run. You know, I, mean, I don't think in the history of the world anyone's ever laid on a couch just cruising the TV, seen someone running past their house and thought, oh, i got to get a slice of that sweet action. <laughs> it just doesn't happen, right? But I was so nervous I didn't know what to do, so I went for a run. And like, I was wearing like a running outfit, you know, like a makeshift running gear, but, you know, I wouldn't call myself a runner. You know, like, it doesn't work like that. You can't wear the clothes and make it so. You know, I could put on a wig and a dress. It's not going to make me a barrister. <laughs> And so I was kind of, and I figured out my running style is kind of like Pepe Le Pew from the Warner Brothers cartoons. <laughs> Lover, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and so I was kind of mincing down the road and uh, a gentleman, now this is in Edinburgh, in Scotland, working class guy pulls over in a truck, right? And I'm there just kind of panting. I'd run like, you know, a good 80 metres. And uh, it's panting, you know what I mean? I remember after the first 20 metres, I was like, God, oh, this is too much. I should have got like a Sherpa to hold my house keys. This is too much. And so I was there and this guy pulled over. He's asking me these street names and where this suburb is. And I'm like, mate, I can't help you. I'm not from around here. And he heard my accent. He went, Christ, where are you from? <laughs> I said, uh, Australia. And he looked me up and down in my running gear, looked down the road, looked back at me and went, Christ, big man. How long have you been bloody running for? <laughs> Thought everything's going to be all right. Give us name of Help Channel 31. Thank you. Put your hands together for Dave. How are you, buddy? Yeah, good, Vasily. I'm Thanks. sweating, brother. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, you should be used to this studio here, mate. I'm outdoors with the sun. You've got these lights on you all the time. I know you would think so, wouldn't yeah. you? But I still get nervous, mate. Yeah. Sweating. It doesn't stop. I am yeah. sweating. This is disgusting. <laughs> good effort. Good oh. effort. Sweating for you guys. Sweating, sweating, for, sweating the for 31. That's, That's right. right. We need you to keep subscribing. We've had a great day today, folks. We've enjoyed ourselves. We've had how many subscriptions so far? Well, I, what's our final tally? I think, what's our, I think it's over 300. 310 is our final tally. For today. That's, yeah, that's awesome. a great effort.
Now remember, we still need more subscriptions. We are going to digital. We're going to transform over to a digital platform, but we want to grow it from there. We want to get second levels, you know, lifestyle shows, yeah. you know, religion shows, and relig religion channels. Yeah. So keep subscribing. C31, 9660, You see this beautiful little piece of work here? You're going to take us out, Vasily? I'm going to take us out. You're going to join us. I'm going to get a few yep. people from the audience to come along to this. Really? So come and join us oh in for a big dance. Yeah. On this. It's celebration. Yeah. That's the stuff. And we're going to dance as well, but let's go for it. See you next week.